done so i'm back in here to do a tutorial for you guys and um i have a little thing going on i'm gonna do quite a few tutorials um today earlier on my facebook i basically asked um you guys you know what look would you like to see or you know i wanted to do a, t a tutorial and i wanted you guys to you know kind of give me some colors i could play around with well i got a bunch of different um colors from a lot of different people so what i decided to do was i decided to create all the looks that the that you guys asked for who are on my facebook and if you're not on my facebook follow it down below the name of it is shonda baby tigger but the link down below says sean baby tigger so be able to follow that um which um, I should have just changed it to Shonda Baby Tigger because I now decided to just go by my name Shonda instead of Sean. I shortened it when I first started YouTube, but I really don't, I don't know, I really don't answer by that. I don't use it in my daily life, like, other than people, people either call me Tigger or they call me Shonda. Um, so I really just decided just to use my name. Um, silly, whatever. So let's get into this video. The first look that I decided to do is a neutral look, a neutral everyday look, which was, um, requested by Charity. Um, I don't want to say her last name, so she'll know who she is, Charity. This look is for you. I don't want to say her last name because I don't, I mean, I know it's on Facebook and everybody can see it, but just for YouTube, just in case. So, let's get into it. I've already primed my, primed my eye with my Ruby Kisses primer, and I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, and I'm going to apply this to both my lids. And I'm going to blend it out really good for you guys. So, okay guys, so it should look something like this once it's blended out. There's tons of, tons of palettes that you can use to create everyday looks. You can use your Wet n Wild I Heart Matte Palette. If you don't have this palette, don't worry. I'm going to have a contest or slash giveaway and give one, one of these soon. So... And the vanity palette, um, you could definitely use the vanity palette or you could use the naked palette. Um, I want to go ahead and use my naked palette to kind of put it to good use. Um, so I'm going to use the naked palette today. And um, you don't have to use this palette. You can use colors that are similar. Um, so let me just grab a brush, guys. Okay, so I'm going to use my Face Secrets um, shader brush and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the color um, virgin and sin and mix them together a little bit just like that but if you have this palette you know you can just use these looks but this is what I'm going to use and I'm using virgin and sin because um, virgin and it has like the white a white is more like a pale white but sin has like a paley pink color to it so i decided to go ahead and use that i'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials guys i'm really sorry that my channel has been about reviews and other things and haven't really been about um you know tutorials like i used to be so i'm going to start getting back into my tutorials i just had you know kind of lost my inspiration for different things you know considering makeup and kind of wanted to take my channel in a couple different directions so i hope you guys will enjoy the things that are coming and i figured while i do tutorials i'll talk to you guys <laughs> so yeah so you're just gonna pack that onto your lid basically like so okay and you will take it a little bit up above your crease now i have hooded lids and when i say hooded lids meaning this part of my crease area and my eye lays down onto my lid so that's what i when i say i have a hooded lid that's what i mean i have a lot of eye meat right up in here that fat eye meat <laughs> so anyways i'm going to take a crease brush and i'm just using like an elf crease brush and I'm actually going to go into a different palette other than my naked palette right now. I'm going to take the brown from my art, my I Heart Matte Palette. Um, you can use the Vanity Brown too, but I usually use that one for my eyebrows. So I just decided to use this one. And I'm just going to take it and put it on, like, get a good amount on the crease brush. And I'm going to take this brown into the crease. But only like a little bit, not like overly into the crease and I hope you guys can see that really good I 
okay and that's basically how you know it should look just fading over slightly I mean you're gonna put it in your crease but just fade it out a little bit not where it's like super chocolate you want most of the chocolate on the outside and then kind of blend inward so you want it to look something like that okay so just keep blending until you get the desired effect of what you want and I'm just gonna make sure that I don't have any harsh lines or anything like that okay so once you have that you're gonna take something that's close to your skin tone whether it's like a shadow that's very close to your skin tone whether you use your foundation whatever um, I tend to use my foundation sometimes as a shadow or sometimes I use a um, like a my mineralized skin finish from Mac well I don't have that up here it's in my purse so I'm just gonna use haha -ha get in there okay I'm just gonna use my foundation guys and I'm going to put that on a different kind of brush um kind of like a um a fluffy brush and this brush just comes from Mally Beauty I'm just gonna grab a little bit of my foundation shake off the excess of that and I'm going to take and I'm going to put this on the top of that brown Okay, just so I can blend it in. And I'm actually going to take it up to my brow bone so I can soften that color up a little bit. And you're going to go back in with the brush that you had the brown on, okay? And you're not going to like add any really any more brown. You're just going to take and blend upwards into your into your crease area. I mean, to your brow bone area. You're just going to take and blend upwards cuz you're going to want to blend that brown out. That you just put the lighter brown now since I want this look to be neutral I'm going to instead of putting um, black on my waterline I'm going to use like a a goldy brown color and this is from Ruby Kisses and it's an express shadow liner in like gold so I'm gonna use the goldy brown color in my waterline and I'm going to add liquid liner and I'm using the linear intense and I'm going to add liquid liner to the top like so and I love this liner, y'all, because it works out and it's so quick. It dries very quick and I put my liner on very quickly. And it's very black. And I want the end a little bit more thicker than in the front. So I'm making the end a little bit thicker, as you can see. I'll zoom you guys in just a little bit so you can see that. So I'm going to add liner to the other side and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm going to use mascara and the mascara I'm using is the I Envy Bold Long. It's from Kiss New York. Um, and this one's a little bit different than the other one. This one has like a curl like wand effect. And I'm going to add mascara to my bottom lashes. I figured you could use this look as an everyday look because it's very simple, very easy, and it gives you a little bit of, you know, shimmer and pop going on without too much. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add like a little bit of concealer under my eye, and basically the concealer that I'm using is the e.l.f. Tone Concealer, and this one's in Toffee. I'm just going to put a little bit under my eye and, you know, kind of clean up that um, concealer or kind of clean up, you know, where I had fallout. Now, once you have that, you can choose to either put on foundation um, to give you more of a flawless look, whatever. I'm going to use foundation, but I decided that I'm not going to use a liquid foundation just due to the fact that this look is a very more of a natural look, like every day. 
um, just something simple on the go and especially like for the summer coming into the summertime or springtime it's a lot hotter outside I live in Florida so I don't always want liquid foundation on now this stuff is totally optional of course you can put on liquid foundation if you want but I'm just gonna put on powder and I'm using my my Mac um, studio fix in N9 I'm just gonna kind of buff that over my face I don't even really want a lot of concealer on due to the fact that I'm going to add some blush. Um, so I didn't want a lot of concealer. Uh, you can still contour your face if you, you want. You know, like serious, anything like that. It's not. It's just to help even out your skin tone to give you a little bit. Not like a super flawless look, but just to help even out your skin tone and make you look a little bit awake and alive. Um, I'm using, trying to use all more affordable products for you guys. Um, just so nobody feels left out here on my channel um which i usually always use affordable products but just in case i'm going to grab a blush brush and i'm using the elf blush brush and the blush that i'm going to use is called very berry and i'm just going to take and pat that like that Okay, Jim, so I'm back, and this is the finished look. Basically, I added a pair of lashes. They're very, like, natural-looking lashes, and they are from Model 21. I can't tell you what number they are because I don't know if the lid went this way or that way, so I can't tell you um, what number they are, but, yeah, that's where I got them from. The lips are, I changed the lips up. I didn't like the color that I had on before, so I'm using Love Nectar, a luster glass from MAC. Um... I hope you guys like this look. I hope you like it. enjoy it. Um, it's totally a pretty look for every day. And I only used three colors. And the key to them to make them look really good is just, you know, make sure you blend really good. And make sure if you want the outer corners to be a little bit more smokier. Kind of how I did. Make sure you make sure a lot, most of the brown is on the outer corner. And that's pretty much it. Um, this is the finished look. I hope you like this look, Charity. Thank you guys so much for interacting with me on Facebook and letting me know what you like. And if you're not over there, get over there. So I will see you guys in the next video. And like I always say, it's not about how much it costs. It's how you apply it, Jim. So keep doing your thing. And I will see you guys in another video. Mwah. Bye.